Hello, and welcome to our science web series, brought to you by sciencehook.com. Today, we will understand the concept behind Pythagoras cup. A Pythagoras cup is a form of drinking cup, that forces its user to drink only in moderation. It allows the user to fill the cup with wine, or any other liquid, up to a certain level. If they fill the cup only to that level, the drinkers may enjoy a drink in peace. If they exhibit greed, the cup spills its entire contents out of the bottom. The cup is known as Pythagoras cup, because its invention is credited to the great Greek mathematician and philosopher, Pythagoras, best known for the Pythagoras theorem. A Pythagoras cup looks like a normal drinking cup, except that the bowl has a central column in it. The central column of the bowl is positioned directly over the stem of the cup, and over the hole at the bottom of the stem. A small open pipe runs from this hole, almost to the top of the central column, where there is an open chamber. The chamber is connected by a second pipe, to the bottom of the central column, where a hole in the column exposes the pipe to the contents of the cup. When the cup is filled, liquid rises through the second pipe up, to the chamber at the top of the central column, following Pascal's principle of communicating vessels. Communicating vessels is a name given to a set of containers, containing a homogeneous fluid. When the liquid settles, it balances out to the same level in all of the containers, regardless of the shape and volume of the containers. If additional liquid is added to one vessel, the liquid will again find a new equal level, in all the connected vessels. This process occurs because gravity, and hydrostatic pressure are constant, in each vessel. As long as the level of the liquid does not rise beyond the level of the chamber, the cup functions as normal. If the level rises further, the liquid spills through the chamber into the first pipe, and out the bottom. Gravity then, creates a siphon through the central column, causing the entire contents of the cup to be emptied through the hole, at the bottom of a stem. Modern toilets flush system operates on the same principle. Let's understand the working principle of the siphon, with the following setup. Atmospheric pressure pushes down on the liquid surface A, pushing liquid into the pipe. The pressure is greater at the other end by an amount equal to the density, multiplied force of gravity, multiplied by the difference between water levels. This excess pressure forces liquid out of the lower end of the pipe. Surface tension also plays a part, may be a greater part than atmospheric pressure. We can imagine a greater force of gravity in the liquid in the right-hand pipe, which moves down therefore, and the cohesive force between the liquid molecules, pulls the fluid in the left-hand side of the pipe, up. However, you can prevent the spilling, by first pouring a high-density liquid, and then the liquid which we want to drink. In this case, the weight of the water is not enough, to push the liquid up through the tube. So, that's all about the concept behind Pythagoras cup. Please like, and subscribe our channel, and don't forget to share this video.